Great Taste is brought to you by Cantor's Meats, the home of quality meats. Back with Chef Jason Wartzman, Manitoba Turkey Producers, Whole Turkey and Beyonds. We have this big, beautiful bird here. And the whole point of tonight, okay, we showed uh, everyone how to roast, how to do that lovely bird, and now we're working with some leftovers. Yes. Not just about sandwiches, although sandwiches are fantastic. You kind of have me all like interested in this puttanesca. There's a mm -hmm. story behind it because tonight we're making spaghetti and roast turkey a la puttanesca. So take it away. Tell us about this. Yeah, the origins. Well, this is a classic Italian pasta dish and it's named after the uh, working ladies in Italy, the ladies of the evening. Gotcha. And um, so they would have not a lot of time to have dinner uh, in the evening. So this is basically uh, a bunch of stuff that would be in an Italian pantry. Okay. And you can just throw it together really quickly in a frying pan. All right, well, yeah. on that note, how do we make it? Yeah. Saturday well, night. Yeah, really simple. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, again, so we've got anchovies, garlic, um, our leftover turkey, of course, from the whole turkey that we roasted. Right. And we've got some tomatoes here. I'm using some uh, grape tomatoes just because they're so fresh and juicy there. And some dried chilies for a little bit of heat. Uh, we've got capers. And we've got black olives, fresh parsley, salt and pepper. So these are kind Parmesan. of like your staple puttanesca ingredients. This they is what are. you need. Yes. I've never, well, knowingly had anchovies, but you're mm -hmm. saying that they're actually used in a lot of different kinds of products that we maybe not, don't even realize that we're having, yeah, right? Yeah, like a Caesar salad dressing, even one you just buy in the store, most of them will have anchovies in them. That's interesting. That's the, base that's the of thing. It. Okay. Yeah. So okay. here we go. So, yeah, so we just start with a little bit of olive oil in here. Okay. Is that I, a little bit? Because that seems like a lot to me. Yeah, well, it's, it's interesting yeah. how that you know yeah. notion of yeah. a little, little lot is, is subjective. It's good for you, but yeah, Fair it's, enough. it's a couple of tablespoons. Okay. Yeah. Here, and so I've got my garlic in here, and my anchovies. Are you saying that these just kind of dissolve? Yeah, they will. Once as the sauce cooks, they're going to dissolve. And yeah, you may want to stand back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to add our turkey in here, and this is not the traditional part of it. There's usually not any meat in it. Okay. And, uh, so this is something we've added for our yeah. purposes here today. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. It's a great way to use up the leftovers here. And uh, I'm going to put in uh, a generous bit of white wine here because that really creates the sauce along with the olive oil um, and our tomatoes. Things are happening. Okay. Yeah. A lot Things of action. Happening. Yeah. yeah. And okay. our chilies here, as I mentioned, for some heat. And our capers, you can leave them whole or chop them up. Mm -hmm. And um, a caper is actually a bud from a flower from a I had no idea what it was that's pickled. for the yeah. longest time. And I just mm -hmm. love them now. I eat them yeah. like right out of the jar. I love them. Mm -hmm. And then just the aromas are there. And you don't need a lot of salt in this dish. Um, well, either. capers are super salty, right? Yeah. yeah. And so are the olives. Yeah. And then we're going to put a little Parmesan on at the end. Okay. Um, but it doesn't hurt to put a little bit of salt in there for flavor and uh, some fresh ground pepper. So then how long do you cook this up? Like you have to kind of... Um, it's, this is it. It's this basically is it? done. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it's basically done. Once everything is hot, um, okay. it's basically done. So I've boiled some pasta here, Yeah. some spaghetti. Mm -hmm. And spaghetti is the traditional pasta for this dish, okay. but you can use Pretty much just about anything. anything yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so now I'm going to give it a bit of a toss So how here. long did it take for you in your professional career to be able to get to the point where you could like do what you're doing Right now, we're yeah. getting it. Took a few years. Yeah. Well, I shouldn't say that. Is that like just, the the final test just, when you're becoming a chef? No, you can there's do that? lots of more difficult things to do. Than Certainly. This. You just when you're um, working on a line in a kitchen and you're stirring a lot of dishes, you got you got to do it. Got to know way. how to do it. Yeah. It's very or you'll impressive. Never keep up. Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so then, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Just fresh parsley and interestingly, when I you know when I worked in Europe, I always used to think parsley was a garnish, but. For them, it's a herb, you know, it has a lot of flavor. Yeah. And it really adds to a dish. Kind of an uh, integral Especially part. the Italian style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we top it with uh, some Parmesan cheese. Lovely. So, and it's ready to eat. So okay, so you don't have to wait for that to melt in or anything like no, that? Not no, not at all. Okay, yeah. so do you want to so try serving like, some of this? Yeah, would you like to have a little... I would love to try tea? some. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, there you go. Okay, fantastic. Okay, let me give you a oh. few okay. more goodies here. Thank you very much. There you go. All right. I don't know how confident I'm feeling here, but let's give this a try. Um, of course, all of these recipes you can find uh, greattastesmb.ca. Oh boy, I'm gonna regret mm. this. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'm gonna take a bite, and when we come back, turkey stock and turkey noodle soup. Uh, I'll let you know how it is when we come back from the break, right here in Great Tastes of Manitoba. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba, brought to you in part by Manitoba Liquor Mart. Enjoy responsibly.